being a pro DJ at 14L with the girls? Next question, please. <laughs> I started interesting to the DJ world when I was, I think, four. It was very, very funny because my biggest passion at the moment were trains. And every time that I saw trains, I, w I was so, so happy. And it happened that one day I saw a cartoon on TV where the DJ booth was placed in the cabin of a train. And when I connected these two worlds, I discovered this amazing world of DJing and now I'm here. My first important gig was when I was eight, it was in the mountain. It was very casually because uh, one day I met a guy and this guy said, hey, hey kid, do you have a headphone? And I said, yes, hey, do you want to try this DJ booth? And I came here and I just played for the whole night. The first time but I really realized, oh, this could be something nice, it was when I met Carl Cox in Ibiza. And he posted on his Twitter, hey, this is Federico Cardini, the youngest DJ in the world. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. And from that moment, I started growing up by followers. My free time is divided into half I listen to music or prepare some playlists, and the other half of time out with friends. Different to me, the adults have the advantage that they can be in clubs at like one, one in the morning, five in the morning, and they can stay here. I'm 14, I can't play after midnight. Sometimes some people say, oh baby, go back home, play with Legos, go away from this club. Yeah, it happens sometimes. It's kind of sad because sometimes you see a guy and they think, oh wow, there's something pre-recorded or I prepared DJ set, but it's not like this. One time Carl Cox said to my mother, my mother wants to tell me that music is, that music is not a job. Don't do this with Federico. I also met the DJ who invented my genre, which is Kevin Sanderson, and I was so proud because in Amsterdam, I just played next to him. I, I go there, I put my USB in, I put my headphones on, and I start playing. I'm so excited every time that I go on stage because when I see people, it just makes me, makes me happy. Now I'm the first year of high school and I of course do want to finish. My biggest dream would be to study sound engineer, just everything that is connected to this world that I would like to do in my life. The biggest advice that I can say is like, just believe in yourself, believe in your passion, practice every day, and don't think that people can stop you because nobody can stop you. Just believe in you and follow your dreams.